viewers and welcome to another edition of our women's program Karimpe. Today we have taken up once again a very important topic and the topic is single motherhood challenges and concerns. Well, this is an area that needs a lot of focus. Often this whole idea or this whole reality that is there called single motherhood is actually brushed under the carpet not given so much of importance but it is a real thing especially in our society and we have decided to take up this topic today to really address this huge concern that so many of our single mothers are suffering from and especially to understand from where it is emanating and what more needs to be done to address this very serious serious issue so for this to have a discussion on this topic i'm being joined here and let me just go ahead and introduce them to you i'm being joined by dr marba byang semle she is the assistant professor school of social work in martin luther christian university shillong I'm also being joined by Melari Shisha Nongrum. She is the associate professor from the Indian Institute of Public Health, Shillong. And we also have with us Jit Shida Nongri. She is a caregiver. Well, these are our panelists today who will be uh, talking about this concern that we have taken up. But before I go ahead and uh, well start discussing this topic, let us quickly watch a short clip based on the topic that we have taken up for you and we will be back very soon join us parenting is a skill which comes with no instruction on how to go about it one becomes a parent either by choice or forced by circumstances it is something which one learns along the way through experiences mostly picked up through trial and error it is a lifelong process and stop only at the grave. So imagine if one had to perform this task all alone taking care of the needs of another human being from birth till death without the support of a partner. Parenting as the word pronounced means a task done in pairs so if this is thrust onto a single person how hard it would be. Single parenting ensues when a parent has to take up the task of looking after a child by herself or himself. In this scenario, we're going to look at single parenting where the husband or father abandons the family and the mother has to look after the family by herself. In most cases, the mother is left to fend for herself and a large number of children while doing some menial job. It becomes a burden for her as she can't take care of the physical, mental, emotional, economic and spiritual needs of the children. They are left to fend for themselves and most of the time they go astray and grow up to become dysfunctional individuals, thus contributing to the vicious cycle of the phenomena in the society. Let's listen into the expert in the field who have done studies in this area and also weigh in on the experiences of a single mother who has undergone such hardships. Welcome back dear viewers. Alright, so Marba, Melari and uh, Kong Nongri, a very warm welcome to all of you and thank you so much for coming <coughs> to Dudarshan Shillong and uh, to be able to talk on this very important issue. Right. So I would like to begin with uh, Dr. Marba. You know, uh, right in the beginning I said that this is an area <coughs> of concern. Often <coughs> we don't want to speak about this issue because of the various reasons. But then you have done some kind of study on this and you are concerned also. You are from the social work department, done field works also. <coughs> Tell us how really, really concerning is this topic that we have taken up called single motherhood. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here be part of this program. Uh, like you said, I've, I've actually done my research on single motherhood, but I focus only in, in East Kassel districts, perhaps 
Dr. Malari here will highlight because he's conducted a study in the whole of Meghalaya. But um, I think single motherhood is a very important concern uh, and it's also another type of family I could say. Before whenever we talk about family we only talk about nuclear joint family. Mm -hmm. And I think another, another very common family that is actually becoming very relevant now is a single mother's family. Mm -hmm. Right, and, uh, and this has actually started to increase. Now, when you look at the census data of 2011, it shows about 21.7% who are the single mothers in the state of Meghalaya, mm -hmm. and we come in the third in the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, but when we look at the national fam the national family health survey of 2019-20, uh, it has actually increased to 30%. Mm -hmm. So it's quite alarming. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't see that it's, in it's actually decreasing, but it's actually it's increasing, been increasing mm -hmm. uh, you know, year by year. So it's a very big concern. Uh, through our interactions uh, you know, th in the field, we have met a lot of single mothers, and we have one single mother herself, which I'm yes. sure she's going to share a lot of experiences. Uh, they face a lot of challenges. I focus more in the rural areas. Of course, we do have, they have their own problems, rural and urban areas, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, I think uh, this need to be addressed and this need to be talk about it because I think uh, only in re recent years, I think people or the government have actually taken mm -hmm. cognizance of the fact that single motherhood has actually become very common in the state. Before that, it's not. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, there are so many challenges, but I leave that to Kong Nongbri to actually highlight some of the challenges. But uh, I think there's a lot that we can actually do um, because one of the main reasons through my study that I found that you know the number of single mothers increase in the state it's not of any other reason but it's so sad it's actually abandonment abandonment, abandonment right. is very very high um, in, in, the, in, the, in the state of Meghalaya and I think uh, and one of the many uh, one of the few reasons why abandonment is high it seems these single mothers they said that if you have more than you know more children more than three or four mm -hmm. children then the husband tend to take uh, less responsibility and he tends to move out and the family tend mm -hmm. to leave and and the saddest part is that because because many of uh, of um, the marriages that we practice here is cohabitation mm -hmm. where they don't have a, a, a marriage uh, registration, registration yeah. certificate mm -hmm. I'm not saying that it's bad, but then when it comes to abandonment, it becomes difficult because as a single mother, she cannot go back to the husband and claim for any alimony because there's no proof. You cannot go to the court of law and say that, you know, my husband has abandoned me, you know, things like that. So it becomes quite a challenge. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, uh, so it become quite a challenge and I think it needs to be addressed, right. you know, so right. perhaps maybe we can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, you know, you've brought out so many, many areas in focus already, you know, in your brief introductory uh, words that you've just spoken. So I come to Dr. Milari. Milari, you've also done a study. You know, there are different kinds of single motherhood. One is, you know, when she becomes a widow. One is, you know, when she willingly takes a divorce. And then, of course, abandonment, which is very, very rampant, as uh, Marba also just mentioned. You have also uh, done a study. So what has your findings? So like, what, what are the findings? Uh, what are the main reasons besides, you know, uh, you know, abandonment? Any other reason why mothers are they also willingly sometimes because there are a lot of teenage pregnancy also? So, is that also connected in some way? Yes, the study that we conducted uh, actually was uh, with the Meghalaya State Commission for Women. It was uh, commissioned by the commission to mm -hmm. conduct the study. It was a statewide study. So, when we look at that uh, aspect of uh, abandonment. Uh, yes, as Marwa's pointed out, abandonment was one of the main reasons mm -hmm. and uh, financial constraints and, you know, the uh, lack of responsibility from the man's side mm -hmm. or the father, we can mm -hmm. say. But um, we also saw in this study that the age of marriage, uh, you know, was quite low, you know, from uh, the highest uh, percentage, you know, of about more than 40 percent was in the age group of 18 to 22 mm -hmm. their first you know when they actually got kind of married, married or yeah. cohabit mm -hmm. uh, cohabitation so uh, i would say that you know the age of marriage is also quite young mm -hmm. you know so therefore you know the in, in terms of reproduction also you know you have you tend to have more children yes, especially yeah. with no because family you know, planning very fertile uh, yeah stage fertile like, yeah. stage and, it, and with no family planning mm -hmm. and we know Meghalaya has very low you know uh, uh, usage of contraceptives or family mm -hmm. planning methods mm -hmm. so therefore in a way uh, i can say that is one of the reasons also that you know that uh, allows this man to actually and they are also young you know the, the man is also young yeah, although he may be you know above the legal age yeah. which is about 21 22 himself right, right. you know so that whole responsibility of fatherhood and mm, motherhood understanding yeah understanding the responsibility mm -hmm. of 
actually taking on you know uh, children and how to because uh, you know bearing a child we all know is not just bearing a child mm -hmm. but is actually you know the whole rearing the whole uh, guidance parenting okay. because we saw also that the single mothers uh, in through the study actually said that one of the main problems that they faced was also after they became a single mother was parenting and guidance for the right. children mm -hmm. they probably had no time because many of them had to work you know mm -hmm. even for those who did not work before being a single mother had to take up a, a job you know mm -hmm. and most of them of course in the unorganized sector like wage labor and all that but since they don't have much time when they come back home then the household chores and all that so there's no time for parenting and proper guidance Absolutely. of children this we will so be addressing think, yeah, yeah, in a little yeah. while from now and also you know the lack of education part yes, yes, right definitely. awareness and education mm -hmm. that also yes, is, I, yeah, that is, that is one of the reason mm -hmm. i come uh, to you kong nongri thank you so much of course i really really appreciate the fact that kong nongri is here with us yeah. she is a single mother and she has mm. six children right she said mm. she has six children and she works very very hard mm. to uh, to be able to raise them she's raising them uh, she's uh, trying to educate them and uh, she works from morning till evening and today in fact she took an off mm. from her place of work to be able to come here yes. and later on yes. she'll go back to her right. place of work i mean yes. this is the kind i mean this is a small example you know of how much of sufferings mm. uh, people like her especially who maybe do not have a you know government job mm. and stable job is so i would like to understand if you could help me marba yes. uh, to you know translate uh, to tell her you know her story a little bit to us okay pilong man sia tho sia phang ki jing ya sia man je ka do chang phi kum i re kun thai ha ha manga i kong nong bri man tang la sau san snam ban ki khon jong an reung ngot te nga sau e nga sau jin jar ha ka ni ka jing em jong a marwei ndon nga hap paniat hi nga hap pet hi ya ki khon ya ka yang ka sem te kawan kalong ka jing e nga ho nga bala kat ba nga yo nga lek be ngam chu kan tai kat kanu kanu ka kamru ba nga dei ka ba nga jin ja ngam don nong ka mai mano mano ro ma te ba nga trei kinu kanu ka kamru kan diat singi si pangang tu si pangang tu kom don ja ka trei ne e nga so she, you know she is very troubled because you know mm. she has to go here there looking yeah. for work right. it is uh, troublesome for yes. her right okay thank you so much uh, kong nongbri for telling us and uh, really i think she's a very brave lady and she represents mm. <laughs> the large number of uh, single mm. mothers yes, you know yes. uh, she's sp she's speaking on their behalf mm -hmm. in fact right i come back to you marwa again because mm -hmm. you know a little while back when i was discussing with milari mm -hmm. she was also brought out a very significant point and that is lack of education mm -hmm. you know is that how significant is that as a reason for uh, you know girls uh, and boys uh, not taking the right decision because you know becoming parent is actually a very very important decision mm -hmm. that only when we reach a certain stage and you know we can take it because it is just not having a baby but much more beyond that right, right. so how important or how uh, has this education or lack of education contributed to this situation also okay uh <coughs> in in our the study that we've conducted we found that many of these you know single mothers mm -hmm. they have very low educational mm -hmm. many of them never had any formal education mm -hmm. i would say right. and uh, they are dependent you know on on their partner i would say so if he actually abandoned or if he died for any other reasons mm -hmm. become a single mother at such a young age um then imagine her that she has to actually look start looking for jobs mm -hmm. you know never work in thailand start mm -hmm. looking for job and it's not really easy to get a job uh so that is one mm. second is that if the mother does not have a very good educational become difficult also for to educate her child right. you know she doesn't feel the importance of education as much uh for her you know it's actually i want food in the table mm. you know by the end of the day i need that and if i don't have that education be become a secondary it's mm -hmm. not become a priority anymore mm -hmm. and then what happened if that happened is the saddest part is that the poverty become like a vicious circle right. it does that country so mm -hmm. her children also uh, in the study is conducted i have about 200 samples okay. that is 200 single mothers out mm -hmm. of this 10% of mm -hmm. them they have been raised by the single mothers okay. you know mm -hmm. so it become like a cycle mm -hmm. so the 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 scary part is that if mothers are not educated, 
educated. Mm. They cannot educate the children. Children, they have the perception that education is not important, important all of that. Yeah. Then so the they also, continues. then the cycle continues, mm. you know. So that's when I, perhaps maybe that could be one of the reasons why a single mother start increasing. Mm. We don't know. Mm. But perhaps it can be one of the reasons, mm -hmm. you know. So, mm. uh, I think education is very important because I, I think uh, I've, we spoke to these single mothers because many of them, I think even the community at large, the society at large, you always think that education is about getting a job. Mm -hmm. But I think it's much more than that. It's of not course. about only getting employed, mm -hmm. but it's about raising your confidence level, right, you know, right. you, get, you can get and access to, to health care, yeah. yes, yeah. all of things, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we need to, I think a lot of people need to understand, you know, mm -hmm. we need to spread um, uh, give awareness or start talking about it, you know, mm -hmm. start talking about it. Different institutions need to start talking about it. education is not only about getting jobs mm -hmm. because I think that is a perception that many people are having right, and we right. need to change that perception, yeah. you know. Because your mindset itself gets exactly. changed Exactly, yes, education. yes. So right. once you do that, yeah. then it definitely will change. Right, and then you'll you be know? able to take the right decisions right, that exactly. is for you. Because exactly. at the end of the day, that abandonment that you said, a man or a boy can easily walk away, right? <coughs> right? But then a woman is left every time behind with mm -hmm. all the responsibility. responsibility. Right, Melari, you yeah, would like exactly. to add on this because this is what I've seen time and again, that it is the woman mm -hmm. that she has to fend not only for herself but for the uh, children also and she <coughs> not only becomes a uh, you know, victim also but also has to carry forward that uh, stigma, that society because I think there is some stigma also attached to it. I mean, we when we hear about single women, of course, some people will look at look up at her that oh wow you're managing so well mm -hmm. but then some some segment of the society will also think that oh not very kind to her mm -hmm. like a little bit more to that you would like to add uh, yes I mean apparently maybe from outside we may say that there's not a very stark discrimination let's mm. say we can say <laughs> that yeah, yeah. but um, as <coughs> they said they usually single motherhood is also you know associated with you know like poverty mm -hmm. you know that okay you're a single mother you mm -hmm. know so okay you're associated with poverty and all of that so there is some kind of uh, discrimination also mm -hmm. because many of these I would want to link it back to what Marba mm -hmm. said on education mm -hmm. you know many of these uh, single mothers because of the lack of education they are not fully aware of things right, you know yeah. they're not fully even in our study mm -hmm. we found 46 percent had no formal education at mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. and another 26 percent just had only primary education so that is a l huge segment that's a huge mm -hmm. that's so like mm -hmm. three-fourths of the mm -hmm. you know the sample is actually mm -hmm. very low education mm -hmm. so because of this lack of awareness when you say <coughs> lack of awareness it is lack of awareness let's say we we try to link it to schemes of the government mm -hmm. right exactly they don't know no, you yeah. know how and what and how to benefit from there mm -hmm. how to get access to that scheme mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. they just depend on others right. so if so let's say if a headman is not kind enough to include her and her name in the scheme then she does not get it and she does not know how to access her right also right. you know right. because even then in the study less than 50 percent of the single mothers had access to any type of scheme mm -hmm. for example it could be pds it could be even the chief minister's scheme for single mothers or even the Mahatma uh, Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee okay. Scheme, which mm -hmm. is very common in right. the rural right. area, you mm -hmm. know, just 35%. Mm -hmm. So we see that there is, you know, there is a, a link. A link between mm -hmm. education basically mm -hmm. is the basic mm -hmm. problem, mm -hmm. which actually uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, increases, you know, the other problems around, around her it, also. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, there is a quite a lot of school dropouts also. Yes, dropouts yes are definitely also there. very, very high. And then after high. dropping out, especially in the rural areas, you know, yes. the parental pressure mm -hmm. will be there that you might as well get married, mm -hmm. you know, find exactly. anybody, get them married. And then after, after a period of time, the man decides to just leave. Just yes, leave. Yes, yes, and there is yes. no registration very of marriage. I think that is also another very crucial mm -hmm. thing that ne needs to be taken up, right? Yes, yes. There, you know, there time and again there is a talk of this compulsory registration of marriages, and then mm. it again frizzles out. Yes. Very right? yes. quickly. Mm. Anything on that? Uh, Yes, I think uh, that uh, perhaps that could be one of mm. the, you know, uh, uh, way, it would to, yeah. way to actually mm. resolve this problem. Mm. Uh, one reason is that because if you are actually, if your marriage is registered, then you can always ask for alimony, mm -hmm. you know. So that way you'll be mm -hmm. able to, mm -hmm. children's uh, well-being, I would yeah. say, because and, and we are focused so more on children. it's easy also for a man to just right, yeah. to yeah. walk away, walk to walk away. away yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. otherwise, if, if it's not, then it become very difficult. Because I, I'm telling you, frankly, you know, many of these women, single mothers that I've met, they said, oh, I don't know where he is now. 
Yeah. You know, exactly. so, so they yeah. don't know. Once yeah, exactly. you move, especially mm -hmm. in the village, they move to another village, they don't know the yeah. whereabouts. Yeah. So it becomes yeah. very difficult, right. you know, so for them. So we will just come back again on the impact that this uh, situation has on the children. Mm. Because if a mother is going through a lot of trouble, mm. actually it, fris it percolates down to the children also. Mm -hmm. They also have a lot of issues that they cannot discuss with the mother mm. and they, they suffer and you know, th maybe they take up wrong activities. We will mm. come back to that. But I go back to Kong Nongbri again. Mm. Uh, if uh, Marba, if you could help me out yes. again. Uh, what are some of the issues on a day-to-day -day basis that she faces? You know, the kind it did, does she face any kind of discrimination or mm. how difficult it is her for her to manage? เอ่อเพียงกันโดดมันละกะซิงกะจิงจงพีมาพอพี่ดอนมีกี่คนกี่ตีมาก็จิงเอ็นเอิร์ดมันสเต็ปโดนะเมียนั่นตาประเดี
said, like Kong Nambri mm. said, the children they see her yeah, and I they know. feel sad, sad. you know. Right, right. So many of the children are feeling the same, they mm. feel sad, but what can they do? Yeah. They are helpless. Mm. They're helpless. So the thoughts that come to my mind were what you, re 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 uh, you have said earlier, you said a teenage pregnancy, mm. that's when they thought that maybe the only way to get out of this, mm -hmm. to help my mother is mm. I'm going to get, you know, get pregnant and get married to somebody else, else. Somebody you know, get out of poverty. Yeah. So <laughs> the cycle yes, then become a cycle. But then, yeah. because because the, the plans is very short-sighted, mm -hmm. I would say, mm -hmm. they don't see the long run. They saw that this is my mm -hmm. way out of poverty. Mm -hmm. But then they got stuck again there. Mm -hmm. And that's when, and when they meet a person mm -hmm. who's actually not really honest mm -hmm. enough, and they mm -hmm. left, and they become, they become like a cycle. Right, right. So it's, um, mm -hmm. yeah. it's a serious so, so what kind of interventions are therefore required? Because this is a huge social issue, which she has pointed out right at the beginning, that it's actually increasing. You know, it, it hasn't gone down despite, mm -hmm. you know, there's talk of so many awareness that everybody seems to be doing. But then when it comes to these issues, how come then there's no change then? So what kind of serious interventions that and concerted and serious interventions do you think is required? I think, uh, <coughs> of course, um, as uh, civil society mm. and government, you know, mm. I mean, as a whole, we need to take responsibility. Mm. But uh, one of the important uh, aspects I remember when we discussed at even the commission at the mm -hmm. commission level was that, you know, the education, as Marwat pointed out, is always a fallout. The first fallout is education right. of children, mm -hmm. right? So if the education, if, you know, the single mothers can, you know, their children can also be part of the education sponsorship uh, scheme of the integrated child protection uh, mm -hmm. services, you know, mm -hmm. that is one. But uh, also in terms of the chief minister's, uh, you know, support to single mothers, mm -hmm. one of the main uh, problems that almost every single mother would be facing uh, for those who are not in a stable job is always a financial constraint. Exactly. That is at the bottom of things, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So if, you know, such support is also given now, um, at least when we did this study, it was just 500 rupees, mm -hmm. you know, so that's a... That's a meagre mm -hmm. amount. What will you get yeah. at that? You know, so yeah. having these schemes, sometimes you know, if they are not really, you know, uh, uh, you know, if we don't really give the amount that is at, you know, with the inflation and all that, at a rate that will really help them, yeah. Yeah. you know, at least support children's mm -hmm. education, mm -hmm. or it could even be like you know, house rent and all mm -hmm. that. Especially mm -hmm. in an urban area, most mm -hmm. of these uh, single mothers are actually living on rented right. pl mm -hmm. places, and mm -hmm. that is actually taking out a big chunk yeah. of their yeah. resources but then, also. Yeah, but then we have such schemes called the midday meal schemes where, mm. you know, children can uh, get a one-time meal, mm. in know, school. nutritious meal, yeah. and also the school. Don't you think that also will actually help and, uh, like, uh, people like Nong, uh, Kong Nongbri and others also can avail to that? Yes, but midday meal is only when the children are in school. Mm -hmm. If they are out of school, mm -hmm. then, uh, you know, they will not get, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, another scheme that is actually for all children in a community is the Integrated Child Development Services, yes, right? Yes, the ICDS, yeah. ICDS which yeah. they have the supplementary mm -hmm. nutrition program. Mm -hmm. So I think like at the, especially in the, in the, in the, in the rural areas, almost, you know, uh, almost every village has a, in, uh, as an as Anganwadi centre, mm. but in the in the urban areas we do not see that, mm, you know. Exactly. So I yeah. think if we uh, have to, you know, if the government can take that seriously in having an Anganwadi centre, because they go by population norms. So if they see, like for example, like a, 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 a locality like uh, Norman Song mm. or other populated mm. localities mm. and have more Anganwadi centres, maybe mm. that could help. help but yeah. I think the last point that I would like to say is that. As civil society, also we can play our role, you know, in the mm. sense that, for example, educational sponsorship is not very difficult for a for a good family, mm. you know, to actually mm. sponsor so a, child. a child. So I think yeah. we should take action at an individual level, level you know, at uh, institutions like churches and all mm. can also come up. Religious groups can come up, mm. you know, can come yeah. out and support single mothers mm. in their own areas. Right. So I think if we do that, then I think a lot of um, you know, a lot of help would be oh, towards yeah. education, yeah. would be towards supporting them come out of that poverty. They will have more time to parent and guide. And hopefully, you know, that vicious cycle that seems to be there, continuing, mm -hmm. continuing and, you know, really uh, increasing the trend of single motherhood, that would uh, hopefully, you know, yeah, we would see a downward yeah, trend. Suggestion yeah. that you've just made that how as civil society we need to play a role. Yes. How as, you know, uh, people within the locality mm -hmm. we can play a role, mm -hmm. church can play a role, likewise uh, many other religious okay. institutions yes, yes. can play a role, yes. right? Quickly, before we are almost wrapping up, what is it that Kong Nongri would like to see a change? What kind of help she really, really requires? 
kuat jom pi banjeng kelam, mampu bandan, mampu kini kilat cingarap, balap an air kum kumi kiri kiri kentai, kiri kendo, kiri kendo. Hai, babuan kiri kentai kiri bangat hak ni, mah kum kini kijing jinjar kum bangat bangaru. Tela da don kena kena kas kim naga liang kesorkar kan nyarap moh kumanga nganang bangan set kebam kei ngaju songru hapok madan hapibi ngadija tela da ngai rio ada kata kei kan kalat bagi nyarap yang ngan rio bangan pli lah idukan ngan way de idukan try ngan kam m bangan kam la ban pen nang pen start ikikun and, and that is an important point, you know, Malari and uh, Marwa, because, you know, there are a lot of, you know, these hawkers that we see mm -hmm. all around, they're la laying their wares, vegetables and this and that. Most of them actually yeah, are single mothers. mothers. Exactly. I happen yes. to have interacted with one mm -hmm. of them and she had tears, you know, mm -hmm. saying that, uh, oh, Didi, when I go back home, my son takes away all my money because my son is a... Uh, drunkard you know, mm. he drinks home and yeah. comes so whatever hard-earned money she's actually mm. earning the whole day it's mm. taken away right, from her also right. right and i think we need to organize this whole concept mm. of hawking mm. a little bit more right. in a more organized manner so that they also can fend for them in a better mm. way quickly yes. as we wrap up this program yeah. i think um uh, to conclude, I would mm. say that I think uh, when we analyze all of these factors, mm. the many problems that we actually mm. see in the society now, whether we are talking about single motherhood or whether just now you mentioned about you know alcoholism mm. or substance abuse right, or whether right, we talk right. about teenage pregnancy, mm. you know, some of the very common problems yes, yes, yes. and now that we are facing the society, I think it all goes back again to the family. Mm. You know, uh, I think there's something wrong with our family values. Yeah. Um, uh, we see that because we find that many people, many children, as early as you know, we teach in the university, we have ch ch children as uh, students at 18, 19, and when they don't come to class, they say, "I come from a broken family." Mm. You know that really breaks our heart because uh, because when they say that they cannot perform well and they become vulnerable to all the social evils that is there in the society. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned just now about this mother; mm -hmm. he has a son who is mm -hmm. actually drink. Perhaps maybe that could be one of the reasons, Reason. you know, mm -hmm. because perhaps maybe she cannot able to parent mm -hmm. him well mm -hmm. or guide yeah. him like what Dr. Malari mm -hmm. have right, said right, earlier. Right. Mm -hmm. So he is very vulnerable mm -hmm. to all of these social evils, Absolutely. and he is one of the example which mm -hmm. perhaps many single mothers are facing the same way. Right. And if you talk of any problem. I think uh, we need how the question is how do we strengthen family values mm. uh, unlike before in the past I think uh, we I mean during my days I still remember talking to my family you know go spending time, spending yeah, time with them out, and yeah. all of that asking mm. but nowadays we don't see that yeah, you know yeah. children are in their own place in mm. their own room with their own mobile right, phones uh, the question is that I think as as individual, you know, as a mother myself, I think the question is that how do we strengthen family values? And I think that's very important because if if our roots are strong, I believe that we'll be able to actually guide well and maybe our children will be able to have a proper guidance mm -hmm. rather than learning mm -hmm. from the internet, mm -hmm. which God knows which uh, you yeah, know website they will go. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So <coughs> it can lead them to other Exactly, sites exactly. Also, right? So yeah. that's very important. So mm -hmm. I would want to actually end by, you know, questioning each and every one of us, you know, we need to strengthen family values. But the yeah. question is, how do we do that? It's a yeah. lot of commitment and determination that we have to take, right. I would say. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. No two arguments on that. A family, you know, should be mm. a unit. Yeah. Then only when we strengthen the, the unit called the family, we strengthen the yes, unit, society. the larger unit called mm. society. Right. Exactly. Quick con concluding words from you, Milari. Yes, definitely. I agree with uh, mm. uh, Dr. Marba also when she said that the family is a very important unit because uh, other studies that we've conducted, you know, a recent study do, we did on children at risk, mm -hmm. even in just Shillong City also, mm -hmm. that was mm -hmm. the main key area of concern that we found, that mm -hmm. it is actually the family. And uh, the other things that, uh, you know, in the com at the community level, yeah. Marba spoke about, mm -hmm. you know, the family level, mm -hmm. which I agree totally, mm -hmm. but even at the community level, you know, when, when children become adolescents, mm -hmm. they would not want to just stay at their homes, mm -hmm. and may many of the homes would not have the facilities that, you know, they would want. So at the community level, you know, do we have facilities for children to, you know, kind of, uh, you know, use their energy, energy. you know, it's in a positive way, mm. recreation, mm -hmm. it could be sports, it could be other, you know, so mm -hmm. strengthening those, mm -hmm. you know, 
is a way to help children use that energy in a positive way manner. you know mm -hmm. rather than just sitting with their mobile phones mm -hmm. and displaying mobile phones the whole time yes. so even right from the young adolescents you know so i, I because i saw that in my own locality where uh, you know when the when the community hall was kind of upgraded you know there were so many young people who went there mm. to play you know every evening which was such a positive uh, you know yeah. a thing uh, unlike before so i think strengthening at the community level is also important because many of these uh, uh, families come from a nuclear are nuclear families mm. you know they don't have that extended family mm -hmm. much anymore so community also plays a role you know yeah. the positive environment in the community is very important Absolutely. you know so i think uh, so i think the family definitely but i think at the community level at also we need to have these level. discussions to mm -hmm. actually see how do we bring about positive social right. environment yeah and to acknowledge the fact that there is a situation called single motherhood yes, to a large extent definitely. to definitely. acknowledge it when we acknowledge it only yeah. then we uh, exactly. we will be able to find yes, you know yes. ways and means definitely. to address mm -hmm. those yes, issues true, yes, we cannot yes. just cover it up saying that we are all good we are all fine no, yes, no. Yes. and then because of this there are other issues also mm, that, that the society mm, has you know yes. many mm. many other issues yes. that she has also mm. raised and which needs to be talked and i yes. hope discussions such as this mm. which we are trying to highlight to bring it out for the people mm. to 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 you know to hear and to acknowledge it and mm. then to bring the change about yes, right yes, yes. so thank you very thank much you so all much. three of you <laughs> for coming you. to the studio of durdarshan and uh, speaking so wonderfully well about this uh, common uh, problem that is there a social problem then and hopefully in the mm. days ahead uh, there will be more interventions yeah. and yes. a change will come about yes. thank you once again thank you so thank much. You so much well my dear viewers you have just watched this discussion of course within these uh, very few minutes we could take up only what we just discussed i'm sure there are many other gaps mm. that we we need to talk about but perhaps time did not allow us but then i'm sure that we will do it again but then i hope it has nudged you some way it has given you a trigger point uh, to think about it and in case you know of such families uh, in your locality see how you can play a role mm -hmm. in uh, you know bettering mm -hmm. the Uh, that family and that helping out the mother perhaps also and playing a more positive and a proactive role in addressing this concern called single motherhood thank you very much for watching this program and from all of us here until next time it's goodbye thank you